Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with some Rainbow Six Vegas 2, keeping this series going. Gosh, the last video I did, I posted it at the wrong time. Because it was like the first video that I did. And as it stands right now, let's see what we're at here actually for the, the video count. Oh, a whopping 62 right now. So, that's alright. I know this is not the most popular series, but this is kind of important for me to finish. So that way I can kind of get in the mindset here and, and just make sure that I kind of get the trend going that when I start something, I finish it. So this will get done probably right around when Medal of Honor Warfighter comes out. There may be a few episodes I have to do after that, which is fine. I mean, I'm totally cool with that. It'll probably actually be good for me to be posting this instead of Medal of Honor, you know, for the next little bit here because, you know, with the, the beta, there's really one map that I can play. Stay put. So, right now, as it stands, Middle of Honor get kind of repetitive oh. for me to go ahead and Regroup. post. But I've got another one. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and do maybe another one, you know, like two of them before. Ooh, I got to go up. Got to go up. Well, there may be, or for sure, there's going to be one. I mean, there may be another, you know, two of them here before uh, I go ahead and, you know, start actually playing the game here. At least I'll have that one map down. Kind of know what I need to do here because I've, uh, came up with a few good things here for the map that they have so just uh, some different strategies and things like that and I just realized too I need to update my playlists I've kind of been lagging behind with that and I apologize like doing thumbnails updating the playlist and stuff like that you know it's just uh, you know quite literally I mean five hours a day I'm doing this stuff so I know with with that being the case here you know, there's a lot of effort I got to do in actually playing the games, editing them, doing the audio for it, to me. And stuff like that. You know, I just kind of slack a little bit here on making the the thumbnails and everything for it. I'm gonna get caught up on that here pretty quick. I may take one day off this week here from actually doing the whole commentary and videos, and everything like that. Just kind of get the you know that updated here, get the descriptions and everything down for some of the you know, newer stuff that I'm doing, and get the actual playlist created. Because I think that's helpful. I wonder how many of you guys though actually go through and, and use the playlist to be able to go through an entire series. I know some do, you know, because I'll get a message every once in a while like, hey, Dunbar, you need to update this. And it takes me a little bit. But, gosh, you know what I didn't realize until uh, somebody posted it here on the Chicago Bulls Association video. I have reached 400 what are we facing? videos. This place is huge. And I'm about ready to hit 3 million views, too. We'll be able to get the drop that is awesome. Be 403 million right next to each other. Over here. That is so, so cool. You know, it really goes to show that I've got some of the best viewers here, I think, in YouTube. I mean, we've got a great community. Um, I'm glad you feel I put out good content to entertain you guys. So, I'm going to make sure we keep going, and hey, here's to another 400 more, you know what I mean? So, especially with the frequency that I'm doing videos after I went ahead and I got my new computer. I mean, it's it's actually really cool to go back and take a look at the statistics, because I'm a numbers guy. I've always been a numbers guy. But, you know, it's actually really cool. I get my new, or I, I build my new computer, so I get the parts for it, and I put it together. And the amount of videos that I have just skyrockets. Go. Because what used to take me eight hours, now it takes me like eight minutes to kind of compile and render and things like that. So it was a great investment, honestly, because not only does it help with these videos, but it's also kind of you know, great for me to be able to game with. And, you know, I haven't had a game yet that I've had to lower the settings on. Um, but also, you know, some of the side projects that I do, you know, kind of doing some stuff with Photoshop, 3D rendering. Stuff like that, you know, it's it, it's perfect for it. So um, that kind of goes to show too that if you want to do commentary or you want to do commentaries for videos and stuff like that, you got to make sure you have some great resources to do it with here. So that way you can kind of do stuff like this. You know, where it'd uh, go ahead. You, know, you can put out stuff faster with higher quality, things like that. I've always been uh, proud too. I don't know if pride is or being proud is necessarily the right word, but um, you know what it is. You know that, that almost every video that I put out here has been in 1080p. Double time. Yeah, it's kind of cool that I've got that high definition too. Because on the one hand, I don't necessarily know how many people actually watch this in 1080p. Um, oh, oh, 
Yep. Lucky that was a flashbang. I know some people do. That's cool. Um, I actually have my videos always posting into HD. I know it kind of depends on your internet speeds and stuff like that, but... You know, I remember at one point I was just like, do I really need to do 1080p? Because on this computer it takes a while to be able to do 1080p. This is when I was using a laptop um, that I'd had for a few years. And then... That's why you don't shoot your cover away, guys. And then some people were like, yeah, I watch it. Because I was like, if I go ahead and drop it down to 720p or something like that, the amount of time it takes for video videos to render actually reduces by quite a bit. And it would uh, be a lot faster for it to get uploaded. But I wasn't necessarily worried about upload speeds because that's you know kind of universal with Time Warner. So I have gone ahead, though, and I've doubled my internet speeds uh, for uploading and downloading because it was like $10 more. I'm like, you know what, why not? So that makes the live streams look better, and I kind of noticed here with the last live stream, I didn't get any complaints about, you know, the video being too choppy. The audio was off, but that's just how it works here with the live stream. So, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about making some changes to it and stuff like that here with the live stream setup. But, gosh, 400 videos, I never thought I'd get that. I say this every single time, but I don't think you guys understand, maybe you do. Just uh, what a big deal it, you know, this is for me here to even be where I am. Because I started making videos here February of 2011. Alright, and I was like, I don't know, I, I, like I saw videos and I'm like, you know what, this is actually be kind of fun to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and make, make some videos and see how this, how this all goes. Well, I'm sitting there and I'm making videos and I'm just like, this is going to be bad. Nobody's going to like it. I'm probably gonna end up quitting, and here I am buying a, you know, spending $200 on a PVR to get all this stuff recorded, and nobody's gonna watch it. So I basically thrown 200 bucks away. But that has actually not ended up being the case, and that is so cool. It's one of those things, you know, the greatest things in life. I think are surprises. Go, go, go. You know, good, good surprises. I like bad surprises. Um, this is one of those good surprises in my life here that I was never ever anticipating. You know, that there would be anything that I would do that has been observed three million times that over 8,000 people, and here in Nebraska, that's bigger than some of the cities that we have, um, you know, who, who come across and are willing to watch this stuff on a regular basis and show their support by subscribing. It's so cool. It blows my mind every single time. I can't even visualize that because, you know, probably the largest group of people that I you know, had ever been around was you know, my high school, and then it was, it was 2,000 people. Alright, so four times that amount. You know, the biggest group of people that you know, I've really been around. Save, of course, like, you know, in a football stadium. But three million, I can't picture that at all. Three million times you've heard, hey everybody, it's Dunbar Snack Bar here with whatever the video happens to be that day. Double time! Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I really do feel like I've got some of the best viewers on YouTube here. Um, and that has nothing to do with me. I mean, that's all about the the caliber Old position. You know, of to you me. guys here. Who you are, what you guys believe, what you represent, what you do on YouTube. You know, that's it, it's really you guys that keeps me going and making me you know, continue to do videos. Because if people stopped watching with as much time as I invest into this, there's probably other things that I could be doing. You know, I mean, I want to get back into developing applications for cell phones. That's something that I had dabbed in a little bit. And that can be uh, pretty lucrative if you kind of do it right here. Or, you know, kind of learning the Unreal Development Kit, you know, UDK. That'd be something I'd like to do. But honestly, you know, I'd just be sitting here typing code all day. Why would I do that here when I've got great people like you who come across who support me in something like this and make it fun? I kind of wanted to say thank you guys, and also uh, thank you for pointing me out, pointing out to me here that uh, 400 videos. Go, go. So go. thank you for that one. Guess say hi. Guess says hi. Bye, bad. Posting that on there. Oh, we're gonna sneak up on this guy. That's a bad surprise. I'm telling you, good surprises are nice. Bad surprises not so much. That was a bad surprise for that guy. All right. This is my bad here. Remember, I have not played this game in a long time, in a few years, but I really wanted to pick it up here after I was borrowing it. So, uh, some of this stuff here, I'm kind of sitting there like, wait, what am I supposed to be doing right now? And this is one of those moments here, which is not 
necessarily the smartest. Oh well, though. You know what I mean? So I'm going to just check uh, while I'm trying to find out how I'm supposed to advance here because I know i got to go ahead and get into this warehouse or in uh, into this dock here, but i got to find out. Oh, yeah. Search the van. Mike, check the van. All right. There we go. So this van kind of reminds me a little bit here of a van we saw earlier here in one of the episodes that ended up being a chemical weapon that we found the van, killed a bunch no of people. Of the bomb. Now we know that there's one chemical weapon and one explosive, and the chemical weapon went off. So we're looking for the explosive one right now here in the middle of Las Vegas. All right, so we've got them in position here down at the bottom of the docks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here. And now I'm going to cover them from Open above. Clear. So, got to be careful. All right, got him. Ooh, there's a couple guys over there. Maybe if I could go ahead and hit that. Ah, uh, yes, I got him with it. I don't know why, but I absolutely love shooting the barrels. Uh-oh, one of my teammates is down here. That's okay. I think they're good right now. So that's a good balance here. You know, you got a group of guys on the bottom here who are kind of superior than I am at, you know, finding targets and things like that. But the human uh, human mind here has its advantages as well. You know, I can adapt to things and kind of plan ahead for stuff. So that worked out well. Oh, man, two guys here coming at the door. So here comes another bad surprise. I'm going to go ahead and throw a block of C4 on the door, see where they're at. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I gotta go away because the C4 has a pretty pretty big blast radius, and I got them both. That's awesome. All right, so obviously they know I am coming. Once you blow up a block of C4, I mean it's not like you're. Uh... Whoa, you went flying. When you blow up a block of C4, it's not like uh, stealth is really uh, something to be worried about. Everybody knows you're coming. All right, so I've basically blown up all the barrels that I can now. So, just got to be accurate here with my rifle. Now, this is one of the best rifles in the game here, too. So, accuracy is something, you know, I've got down pat here. Oh, my gosh. I got him while he was on the rope. I was expecting that. All right. So, I think we're all right here a little bit. You can heal Michael. See the guy with the shield's more worried about me than my own guys down there. All right. So, didn't get him. Shoot. All right. Going to go ahead and switch to the sniper. It's one of those modes where sniper comes in handy. And there we go. All right, so we got this part cleared here. There's really one more part, but I'm going to move these guys up just a little bit at a time. Who are they shooting at? I don't know, but they got him. All right, so I'm going to move them forward a little bit more here. Gosh, this actually hasn't been half bad at all. All right, so now that we're at this part here, Dang it, I gotta be careful with stuff like that. Go, go. I don't want them above here with me. I want them down below, clearing out the targets down there. Oh, people at the doorway. Down there, along that ramp. There we go. So got one as he's trying to get on the rope. Oh man, that was, that was some bad shoot on my part. But finally got him too. Same thing, he was getting on the rope. So somebody's got a shotgun here. I don't think they're really gonna be able to hit me from a distance. So I can tell he's down there. I've got to make my guys still stay where they're at. There we go. Got him. Okay. We may have them move ahead a little bit. Oh, those are my guys. I almost killed them. There we go. Just got to get them in a different position here, and it worked. All right. So now they're moving forward here. Things are going to be going, going well. And we're just about there to the end of this particular one here so might as well kind of go ahead and get it uh you know started to close up things here but just wanted to remind you guys about the uh little contest that i have going on if you like this video as uh as well as any other ones that you may come across make sure that you share them i don't care where it is if it's on facebook twitter myspace if you can still do that uh you know blogger stuff like that go ahead and, and share that video and then also make sure that you comment on it as well because I'll make sure that somebody gets drawn here at random to be able to win a Timmy Timmons or Chris Rose t-shirt, whatever one that you would like of your choice, out of the MLB shop. 
So you guys provide me that feedback, letting me know which ones you guys like the most, and uh, I'll make sure that you know that one lucky person gets rewarded. I think it's kind of cool. All right, so this is going to be the last part here of this mission. Now, oh wow, there's a couple guys right by the door. You saw what happens earlier. C4. All right, so now that we got that, we're going to move the other guys here into position. And we're going to storm this at the same time. But the thing is, they're going to open and clear. I'm going to just blow up a door and then clear out that area. So that'll actually give them some pretty good position. Prepare for entry. They'll be there. I will move over in this side. Uh... Actually, let me make sure that they get there first. I want to go ahead and blow up the door. And they're not going to be around. So there they go. I can remote detonate it. So I got both of those guys. And they've gotten three. Wow, we cleared that out very fast. That was cool. That's uh, that's tactics right there. But anyway, this could end up being the last guy here for us. So, I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. 400 videos, that's a great thing. And also 3 million views, that's something to get so excited about. And I definitely am, and I couldn't do it without you. You guys really are the best, best viewers on YouTube. And I want to thank you for all that you guys do. So, I appreciate it. Oh, there is one more. But subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. If you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you guys can definitely do that as well. Um, you guys know where to be able to find me at with that stuff, too. But anyway, again, you guys, thank you so, so much. We're going to get this guy. Where is he? Where is he? We're going to get him real quick. And then, wow, silent breaking of the glass. There we go. All right, now that we got him, I can say it. Thanks again, you guys. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one. We might be able to locate him with the security cameras. Clear. Hustle.